against terror organizations like the IDF. Come on, bro. Come on, Kobe. Unholy Kobe. Keep spreading lies. Yeah, Israel, keep spreading lies. I'm, who's spreading lies, though? Israel is not even spreading lies. They're producing lies. It's like right in your face. The lies are just, the lies, they're not even covering it up, the lies. <laughs> it's, it's straight up lies. Like the nurse. Uh, let's just go to the propaganda. The IDF propaganda. I don't know if I can. Oh, wait, there's, there's an Owen Jones video about it. Um, Yeah, I'm going to end the Palestine content in a bit. Um, This probably, we'll get through more Caitlin Johnstone. Bro, there's Middle Eastern people watching right now. Get the fuck out of here. Hey, thanks for the views, Kobe Cohen. Ah, let's go to the, I mean, big up uh, Kobe, Co Co Kobe Cohen over here. Um, Kobe, unholy schmole, unholy Kobe. Um, just because he said, keep spreading lies, we're going to watch this video by Owen Jones. Israel's lies debunked. All right, Kobe, pay attention, Last right? time, also in the video. The IDF propaganda is comedic. It's comedic. Unholy schmole. There are two things which the Israeli state really excel at right now. One, killing innocent people on a mass scale, and the other is deceit. Now, it is standard practice, you might argue, for states to engage in wartime propaganda at times of conflict. Be that as it may, Israel's current deceit intends specifically to cover up serious war crimes and a massacre, which I think is a better description than a war. This is far too asymmetrical, that is, with one side so much stronger than the other, to be accurately described as war. Now, this is all happening, of course, with the direct complicity of our governments. Thus, this is, in part, done in our name. Israel official lies have all of that in mind. They wish to manipulate Western public opinion because they fear, with sound grounds, that if public opinion tips decisively against Israel, then politicians will be forced to stop giving a blank check to Israel through arms and diplomatic support. Now, Israel's authorities lie and lie and lie again. They have a... Facts. Big up Owen Jones. Owen Jones may look young, okay? He looks like a child. But he's, he's been doing this for time. Like I remember back in the day, he was one of the few in Western media just doing, you know, just, you know, um, just a new hater. <laughs> yeah, you're trying to say Jew. I don't hate Jews at all. I hate Zionists. Mate, there's a distinction. I don't hate Jewish people. One of my favorite artists is Larry David. One of my favorite, you know, um what should we call him a writer an actor is larry david okay i'm not I'm, I'm not doing the you know my best friend is black defense but i don't give a fuck about jews muslims whatever whatever woo 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 i don't give a fuck i just hate i don't give a fuck about race religion this ain't about that it's about humanity kobe unholy kobe what is zionist nah stop asking me questions just google it okay Zionists don't have, don't even have religion. They're, they're atheists. Again, no offense to the atheists, but it is facts. You don't know nothing, bro. Thank you, thank you for paying me a visit. Anyway, I gotta get through this Owen Jones video, okay? I right. track record of doing so, like the Cana massacre of 1996 when they bombed a UN base and killed over 100 civilians, and just now pay attention, okay, Kobe? Unholy Kobe. Zionists are most famous for being liars. And bro, Kobe, I'm speaking to you, Kobe. Do you even watch IDF propaganda? It's so comedic, bro. So Kobe, unholy Kobe. Um, Leroy, carpenter. Oh, wow, you're a carpenter. Carpenter. Big up carpenters. Um, yeah, that's one of the, also a hard job, carpenter. I could never be a carpenter. I'm really bad with my hands, I'm telling you, you know. I'm really bad with my hands. I can't do carpenting. Um, yeah, that's another job. That's I can't even imagine being a carpenter. Like, how do you guys do it? You know, just to be precise is a problem for me. You got to be precise, right? If you're a carpenter. I don't know why we're talking about carpentry, but it's you got to be precise. I cannot be precise in any way, shape or form. I will really suck at that.
Um, yeah, big up all the carpenters. And I guess, yeah, carpent when you're doing carpentry, your ears are free, right? You're mostly doing work with your hands and your brains, so you can kind of listen to stuff. Yeah. Kobe, unholy Kobe. Okay, big up Kobe. We got an Israeli. We got an Israeli bunker cat over here. Big up Kobe, unholy Kobe. Um, okay, Kobe, do you watch IDF propaganda? It's wild, bro. So I'm just telling you, Kobe, watch this video that we're watching together. Watch this video. You can see how comedic it is. Okay. The IDF propaganda is comedic. I'm telling you right now. Palestine propaganda is independent. You can say whatever you want about it, but it's made by the people for the people. You know, FUBU, Obufu, by us, fuck you. Spread misinformation about it. When they killed the award-winning British filmmaker James Miller by shooting in the head in 2003, likewise, they spread a load of misinformation about it. And when they shot dead the celebrated Palestinian-American journalist Shireen Abu Akli last year, which they claimed was actually done by Palestinian gunmen, it wasn't. It was done by the state of Israel. Now let's have a recap of some of Israel's deceit in this murderous assault on Gaza. The Israeli authorities keep posting claims that Palestinians are faking their own injuries and deaths, a particularly gruesome form of atrocity denial. Ofer Gendelman, who is, the, who is one of the spokespeople for the Israeli Prime Minister, posted a clip claiming to show Palestinians faking injuries, declaring triumphantly, Pallywood gets busted again. They keep using this term, Pallywood. Here's a th oh yeah, the term Pallywood that the Israelis like to use to kind of like, uh, I don't know. Is a term they use to kind of uh, say that Palestinians pretend yada yada yada, free Palestine, yeah, big up, big up Palestine from the river to the sea. I don't want to say it; I might get banned. <laughs> but from the river to the sea, you get me. The thing it was actually a clip from a Lebanese film about Palestinians called The Reality. Here's another example. Anyway, Kobe, are you paying attention, Kobe? Unholy Kobe. Unholy Kobe. So Kobe, you see this. This is one example. Israeli propaganda put up a picture saying it's Pallywood. Palestinians pretending to be injured. The picture is from a movie, Kobe. Unholy Kobe. The picture was from a movie. Do you see this, Kobe? From the river to the sea, you get me? Taking injuries, declaring triumphantly, Pallywood gets busted again. They keep using this term, Pallywood. Here's the thing. It was actually a clip from a Lebanese film about Palestinians called The Reality. Here's another example, which keeps coming up, which centers on the Palestinian Instagram influencer, Saleh Sax. al Ferrari. Now, the claim is he's a crisis actor, something which has been spread by... Oh, I remember this one. This is wild, bro. Israel's official account and pro-Israel accounts in general that he's a crisis actor. Now, I've seen a senior British broadcast journalist share this false claim. One such meme, which has gone um, particularly viral, mocks him variously as a blood donor, revived corpse, resilient patient, American Idol, tour guide, war correspondent, amongst many other things. The claim he's pretending to be a deeply injured patient is the one which they particularly focus upon. Israel's official account claims that this patient was him, supposedly of him on his deathbed... I'm almost out. Last wreck for the day. All right, Leroy. Big up, Leroy. Thank you so much, Leroy. You've been, yeah, bro. Thank you so much, Leroy, for watching and also for contributing. Contributing. Thanks, Leroy. Big up, Leroy, everyone. Um, Yeah, let's continue with this video. We're trying to educate uh, Kobe. Unholy Kobe. You still there, Kobe? A couple of days after an alleged airstrike, with, in capitals, most of the machines are you see, this is not even from, this is not even from some random account, bro. This is from a Twitter account. Israel. Look at this. Israel is pushing this, this lie. This is obviously a lie, bro. Unholy Kobe. Bro, Kobe. You got to see this, right? Do you not see this? You have eyes, you have ears, you have a brain. And I hope your eyes and ears are connected to your brain because do you see this? This is, this lie is perpetuated by Israel. It's not fake, bro. It's not fake, bro. It's not fake, bro. It's not fake. What's fake is what it's trying to spread. It's not fake, bro. It's on the Israel account. Unholy Kobe. 
disconnected and the ones which are have fake stats. But that wasn't him at all. It's another Palestinian, a 16 year old. Uh-huh, it was another guy, bro. Your government, yo, Kobe, I'm telling you right now, just because you're Israeli, it doesn't mean you have to support your government, right? Just because you're Israeli, you d it doesn't mean he's not acting, Kobe. We have the receipts. Kobe, unholy Kobe. He's not acting. We have the receipts. It's right here on screen, Kobe, right? What I'm trying to say is, Kobe, just because you're an Israeli, you don't have to support the government. I don't support my government. Even if I voted for this, this government, I don't support them. I don't have to support them. I do not have to support the government. If the government is doing something wrong, um, you don't have to support them. Bro, Israel is the occupier. There's no defending yourself when you're the occupier. Do you, do you understand this concept, Kobe? Colonization against terror organizations like the IDF? Come on, bro. Come on, Kobe. Unholy Kobe. A year old called Mohammed Zendik, who lost his leg in July before the current conflict began when Israeli occupation forces invaded Nur Shams refugee camp in the West Bank, where he was visiting because he's a Palestinian citizen of Israel and the hospital isn't just real, it's actually an Israeli hospital. Now, the revived corpse, in quotes, is actually a Thai child in a ghost costume for Halloween last year. The rest is just him doing his Instagram vlogging. He does singing too. Here's um, another one. Israel's official Arabic account run by its Ministry of Foreign Affairs posted a video of a nurse which went viral. Nah, nah, Kobe, Kobe, please chill. We're going to focus on this one topic, okay? You have a lot of questions. Just Google it. Just Google it, my guy. Don't ask me. Don't ask me. I don't care. I don't care about answering your questions. Just Google it. Now, we're going to focus on this. You're trying to move the goalposts. I'm not spreading hate, Kobe. I'm spreading love. Do you not feel the love, Kobe? Unholy Kobe! Viral, in which she claims Hamas had overrun the Al Shifa hospital and was stealing all the fuel and morphine, in which she spoke Come on, Kobe. Stay with me, Kobe. Stay with me, Kobe. Don't leave, okay? We're going to watch this video. If you have questions, just Google it. <laughs> Kobe. Kobe, chill, chill, chill. Just have a seat, you know. I don't know what you guys drink over there in Israel. Big up Israel, by the way. I'm down with the Israelis. Bro, I want to be friends with Israelis. You know, the right Israelis, you know. The Israelis that are pro-resistance. You get me? I'm down with that. I have nothing against Israelis. I have a lot of things against the Israeli government, the US government, the UK government. Fuck them. Okay, Kobe? Now, Kobe, just chill. Have a seat, have a drink, you know, just get a glass of water or wh whatever it is that you drink in Israel. What it is? What What do you drink in Israel, Kobe? Come on. I mean, over here we have all kinds of drinks, you know. What do you drink in Israel, Kobe? I'm curious. Okay, just just dr drop a comment. What do you guys drink in Israel? Just take a cup of whatever it is that you drink. Could be coffee, prime, who knows? <laughs> I don't know. Let's watch this, okay? And watch this with a sound mind. Your accent. Can Unholy Kobe. I believe I'm doing this, but the world has to know. Has to know. Come on, Kobe, you see this, right? Oh, what the is making here? They're taking over the entire <laughs> hospital. They're taking oh. over the fuel, the medicine. Now, the hospital said there was. Kobe, what the fuck was that, Kobe? Kobe, you tell me what was that? No such nurse at the hospital. They deleted it without any explanation. Now, it really is. I mean, it's just so bad. So bad. Turns out she's actually an Israeli Mexican actor. <laughs> now, let's just focus on Al Shifa Hospital. What we've seen is Israel waged war on Gaza's medical healthcare system, a siege which deprives uh, the hospital of medicine and energy, itself causing mass deaths, with premature babies taken out of incubators and children having their limbs amputated without anaesthetic. They've bombed ambulances, they've bombed the hospital, they've killed doctors, nurses, and patients with bullets and bombs. What's left of Al Shifa Hospital no longer functions as a hospital, but as a first aid treatment centre in which wounded patients are condemned to unnecessary death sentences now the bombing of hospitals i thought we'd all agreed after putin's yeah beautiful algeria this is funny it is funny <laughs> it's wild that's what it is 
Like, how could you just tell a lie straight to our faces? But most people don't, they don't see this. I don't know how to, I don't even know how to explain it. We're watching a dystopian movie play out in real time. It's fucked up, okay? Free Palestine. This brutal invasion of Ukraine was despicable. Indeed, here's Secretary of State Anthony Blinken earlier this year. We can never let the crimes Russia's committing become our new normal. Bucha is not normal. Mariupol is not normal. Irpin is not normal. Bombing schools and hospitals and apartment buildings to rubble is not normal. Israel's justification for this obscenity that the Al Shiva hospital is the command and control center of Hamas. Now, let's just watch now the BBC debunking. Now, now, before we get, we continue, what's funny is when he released this video, there was another Israeli kind of like mess up. I mean, propaganda fuck up. It, it's so funny, man. It's hap because it's happening in real time. Uh, what was it? I forgot what it was. I think it was related to the hospital. Oh, man. So funny. Ah, right, let's continue. Because I like how Owen Jones is just going through every receipts possible, you know, as far as he can. Because this was released three days ago. And since then, there has been new funny stuff from IDF. Um, and the only thing is, I wish his mic was louder. It's kind of it's kind of a bit lower compared to the videos. This, and it's striking that even the BBC is pushing back on these lies, given how outrageous. And oh, yeah, BBC. Yeah, I made a video about that. Even the BBC just can't continue spreading lies. They had at some point they push back a little large in scale. They are Israel described the Al Shifa hospital as the main headquarters for Hamas's terrorist activity. This IDF animation posted in late October <laughs> claims to represent a Hamas tunnel system underneath the hospital. But having been inside Al Shifa since early Wednesday, <laughs> Israel's yet to produce where evidence the, of the where tunnels. Where is the command it center, has bro? The BBC and where Fox is it? To film at the hospital, though only locations of Israel's where is choice. This, this is Bond villain found. command Israel center. Israel also released its own seven-minute video, tell which me. BBC verifiers analyzed. You a watch visible in me. that video suggests it was filmed a few hours still before there, the BBC arrived. Unholy and this Kobe. IDF video was posted, then deleted, then reposted. This time without a section referring to an Israeli soldier who'd been held hostage. I don't know when this was used the last time. <laughs> also in the video, the we see a room with an MRI bro. machine. And if you zoom in, it's funny, we but get it's some light sad. over here. What you'll be able to see are is military equipment. The BBC oh, was shown man. the same room. The fuck is and wrong with And what we see in the two people? videos doesn't precisely match. For example, there's one gun in the IDF video, two by the time of the BBC footage. Israel has told BBC Verify this is because more weapons... Come on, Kobe. You can't be watching this and thinking. Come on, Kobe. There's no videos of it, Kobe. There's no videos of it, Kobe. There's no videos. The tunnel was um, the bunker... The bunker was built by Israel in the 80s. Okay, the bunker was built by Israel in the 80s. Hamas um, um, covered up the bunker. Hamas ain't using it at all. Hamas was in the hospital to send hostages to the hospital. So all you did was show how nice Hamas is. Unholy Kobe. Weaponry and terrorist assets were discovered throughout the day. And as always, an AK-47. Israel also says its video is, is a single uncle, shot Kobe? with no edits. But this appears to be an edit. Kobe, we don't know Kobe, the reasons. Kobe. The BBC actually has access to the location, Kobe. They actually have access to the location, Kobe. Watch, Kobe, watch. You know. For that edit, nor how significant it is. The IDF, though, says suggestions it's manipulating the media are incorrect. The IDF video also shows military equipment in other locations, though we can't verify how it came to be there. And what we see in this IDF video doesn't equate to Israel's description of al-Shifa as an operational command center for Hamas. The U.S. is using a different phrase, saying al-Shifa was used as a command and control node. That implies a much smaller facility. Israel is adamant this hospital was a command <laughs> Kobe, center, come on, but for Kobe. now at least, Unholy it's either not Kobe. found supporting evidence or it's not sharing it. Back to you, How sir. can you watch so all this? So a total lie used to justify, destroy the hospital, killing so many of its patients and medical staff, 
turning it into a mass grave where so many dozens of decomposing bodies meant they had to just put them in a mass grave. Now, facts. It's fucked up, Kobe. It's fucked up, Kobe. Unholy Kobe. Are you listening, Kobe? It's fucked up. You better open your third eye and start paying attention, Kobe. Okay? Unholy Kobe. At least you're not an NPC. I know you're not an NPC because you're responding to me. But Kobe is fucked up. Unholy Kobe. Now, there's some other examples uh, related to this. The IDF posting a video in which they claim they found a calendar listing terrorist names in Arabic, showing each agent's rotor Come on, Kobe. Um, for the regarding hostages. Come on, Kobe. Your uncle pointed to a, a calendar and say it's a names list of Hamas. No, Kobe. It's, there's no editing. There's no editing, Kobe. Your uncle showed a calendar in Arabic, Arabic, and says there is a name list of Hamas. Kobe, come on, Kobe, where you at, Kobe? This is fucked up, Kobe. Israeli propaganda is whack, Kobe. Unholy, Kobe. Just at the Al Rantisi Children's Hospital. Turned out it's just in Arabic, a calendar of days of the week. <laughs> they offered up the presence of a laptop and CDs as evidence it was a command and control center, WTF. Why are we even, I don't even know why I need to engage in discussing that. No evidence has been provided to show Al-Shifa was a command and control center for Hamas. Mm -hmm. This is a war crime. They attacked the hospital for absolutely nothing. And they should be condemned Facts. in the strongest possible terms. And yet Western states refuse to do so when they've done exactly the same things they've denounced Vladimir Putin for in the strongest possible terms. In another case, Israel claimed Palestinian militants had misfired uh, projectiles which hit the hospital. Turned out, according to a New York Times analysis, that at least some of those projectiles claimed um, as Hamas were actually Israeli. Um, after ordering the evacuation Obi. of northern Gaza and holding about Shifa Hospital as a command and control centre, now they say Khan Yunus in the south is the centre of Hamas. Let's listen to this particularly chilling threat from Israeli spokesperson and propagandist Mark Regev. You saw what happened to the city of Gaza. Khan Yunus is a centre for Hamas activity as well. We're asking civilians, please vacate the area for your own safety. We don't want to see you caught up in the crossfire. Okay. So they're making clear there what happened to Gaza City, total destruction, will now happen to Khan Yunis. Where are those people supposed to flee to? Where are they supposed to flee to? There is nowhere for them to go. The north has been destroyed and now the south will be destroyed as well. These are epic war crimes, crimes against humanity committed by a state Thanks. which is wiping Gaza off the map and inflicting a death rate far higher than conflicts. To give some examples, Bosnia, Yemen, Ukraine. Syria. That's wild, bro. They're murdering children. I mean innocent people at a rate that it's that is worse than bosnia ukraine are higher than conflicts to give some examples bosnia yemen ukraine yemen. syria so they are resorting syria. to lies on a grand scale in a desperate attempt to manipulate public opinion we need to call them out for what they are lies and they are lies in the service of a particular dark indeed gruesome end which is covering up big up owen jones slaughter of innocent civilians and the wanton destruction of Gaza with the possible aim of the murderous ethnic cleansing of the Palestinian population. Please like and subscribe. Do share the video to get the message out. Uh, you can keep the show on the road on patreon.com for us. I'm Jones84. I'll see you in a bit. There you go, Kobe. Please like and subscribe to Owen Jones, Kobe. You know, get your knowledge up. Get you some knowledge, okay? Knowledge darts.